viewers welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms in this session i shall explain the topological sorting here the topological sorting i am explaining using the dfs method that is the depth first search method here i have written the steps for this algorithm before i start explaining the steps for this algorithm i would like to tell that in my previous session i have explained the topological sorting using the source removal method as you all know that the topological sorting can be done using two methods source removal method and the dfs method the source removal method i have explained in the previous session also in the previous session i have given the introduction and definition of the topological sorting so straight away i go for the steps for this method that is the dfs method the first step is you need to select an arbitrary vertex and push that to the stack then select the vertex from the top of the stack for that vertex you need to visit the adjacent vertices if there are more than one adjacent vertices then select any one randomly and push that to the stack if the vertex has reached to a dead end means if the vertex is not having any adjacent vertices then pop that vertex from the stack so repeat this step number 2 3 and 4 for all the vertices in the graph reverse the order of the popped vertices whatever order you get that becomes the topological sequence so here these steps will be much clear to you all once i explain with an example problem statement will be in this manner find the topological ordering for the given graph by using the depth first search method so even for this method the given graph should be a dag a directed acyclic graph so here this is the given graph you can check it has got five vertices a b c d e and it is a directed graph and it is an acyclic graph now the procedure here is uh, you can start making columns like this and give the column heading so that you will keep track of every vertex that means whichever vertices you are visiting you have to keep track also you need to see whether you have visited the adjacent vertices of that vertex and keep one stack here and whatever elements you pop out from the stack you can store it here in the popped vertex so you make three columns selected vertex as one adjacent vertex popped vertex and definitely you need a stack we will follow the steps that are there for the algorithm you need to select any vertex here i will start from b b has got no incoming edges you can start from any a vertex but here i am selecting from b so preferably you choose a vertex which has no incoming edges so here i am starting with b so whichever vertex i choose i place it in the stack and that becomes my selected vertex so i am writing here in the column selected vertex now for this vertex b see which are the adjacent vertices b has got two one is a and another is d so you can select any one randomly now i am selecting a so the adjacent vertex i'll write it here in the column a i have chosen a that is why i'll write now whichever neighbor you have chosen that also becomes what a visited vertex and you have to keep it in the stack so i have kept it in the stack now then whatever you have pushed into the stack that vertex you select here under the selected column so for that selected vertex you find out the adjacent vertices for a in the graph if you see a is having an edge moving towards c also a is having an edge moving towards d so for a c and d are the adjacent vertex so you can select any one i am choosing c here so i will write here c as the adjacent vertex and that selected adjacent vertex i'll put it in the stack whatever vertex i have placed in the stack that i will select so i'm selecting c now so for c i have to see which are the neighbors for the vertex c find out the adjacent vertices c has got only one adjacent vertex e so i'll select that and keep it here in the adjacent vertex now that e i'll push it into the stack see basically what we are doing here is we are choosing a vertex keeping that vertex in the stack selecting that vertex finding its neighbors so this process keeps going until we find a vertex which is not having any adjacent vertices when you find such a vertex then you have to pop out from the stack and place it in the column popped vertex selecting now e and for e which are the adjacent vertex now e is here in the graph you can check e has got no adjacent vertices that means it is the dead end then that vertex you need to remove it from the stack pop out from the stack so this one has to 
come out so the popped vertex i'll keep it here in the column then the next vertex from the stack is c so you are selecting c now and for c just check which are the adjacent vertices there is only one vertex for c that is e and e is already visited so if it is visited you don't have to write anything here in the adjacent vertex just put a dash here then you remove that c also now from the stack next in the stack is a so a you place it here and check which are the adjacent vertices for a a has got already we have seen in the previous step a has got two vertices c and d c is already visited the leftover is d so now we can place d in the stack because now we are taking d as the adjacent vertex to a and you have to place that in the stack so now select d from that stack and check the adjacent vertices to d whether d has got any adjacent vertices you can check here d is moving its edge to e and c e and c are e and c both are visited so if both are visited then you need to pop out this d and place it in the popped vertex column for d just now as i said e and c both are visited so i can put a dash here and i have removed that d from the stack and placed it in the popped vertex next in the stack is a now you can see the stack pointer is pointing to a so select a and check its adjacent vertices a has got neighbors c and d and c is already visited and d is already visited so it is a dash here so when there are no more neighbors for a pop out and place it here in the popped vertex column next the stack pointer is pointing to b select that b check which are the neighbors for b and you can see b is connected to a and d both are already visited so you can pop out and bring this b to the popped vertex column once you pop out the elements from the stack check here in the popped vertex column it is e c d a b e c d a b now reverse this you will be writing first b a d c e so this becomes your topological ordering if you just see from the graph that means first b then a d c and e so this is one topological sequence here which i have shown hope you find this session helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care